Hi boys and girls and welcome to my channel. Now today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of Playboy Playmate Kerry Stevens. Now I did something very very similar to this for a poster with Kerry a while back and so it's like I've reworked that image to come up with this one. Now I also have some behind the scenes of me setting up the lighting in her living room so you might want to stay tuned and check that out. Well, welcome back. Now, how did I get this picture and what was the poster I was talking about? Well, this is the poster and uh, basically she's sitting on the floor with uh, cross lighting and uh, hair light to separate her from the background which has a orange gel on it. Now, the title of the poster was Hold Your Liquor and as you can see in this picture here, she's holding a bottle of liquor. Now I did this for uh, Star Maker Rising and it was sold in Spencer's and other outlets and within a week it was sold out so I think you can pretty much say that was a successful project. Now I've got this video that I want to share with you of how I set up the lighting in Kerry's living room so here you go. You can see there's a beauty dish. There it is on a boom stand. Notice we have industrial strength boom stands. No C stands here and we have a reflector that is on a stand that we can bring up underneath the model and back here we've got ourselves a light on a stand that has a blue gel on it as you can see right there and this is going this way looking at my beauty dish and a reflector which we probably adjust and the camera sitting over there on the stand and the reason we got it on um, a tripod is so that we can actually keep the framing of all the pictures the same and we're actually tethered in for this shoot into a Macintosh computer a MacBook um, which has gone to sleep let's see oh, there it is right there and as you can see we're using Capture One and all the pictures will be tethered directly to the computer this way we can actually see what's going on with the model live. In this particular setup I had a beauty dish up above her and then a reflector underneath. I'm shooting a three quarters to like a headshot type image with backlighting. Now the trick is make sure that the area or the place, the room, the studio, wherever you're shooting this is pretty dark because if you have any other available light bouncing around you won't get a nice black backdrop and that's important in this shot because you really want that hair light to really pop the hair. Now the other trick obviously is to have a fan blowing her hair so it gives that kind of a little bit of uh, movement, a little bit of action, a little bit of something going on rather than just sort of just standing there staring down the camera and uh, that's what I did was I put a fan on Carrie to blow her hair around and you can see here it's pretty successful. Now the other thing is slightly different other than the blue gel for this shot was having the leather on instead of what she had on in the poster. Um, I think this gave it a sort of a more of a rock and roll edge and Carrie always says that she's more of a rock and roll kind of chick anyway so that's what we were aiming for. And again it's a three quarters it's not a total headshot but we are doing lighting similar for a headshot as you saw in the video. Now that's how I piece it all together and as I said I was inspired by recreating something that was similar to the post that I did with the orange gels only replacing it with the blue. Now when you do have a model and you want them to give you that kind of look you can tear some images out of a magazine of the looks you're going for or you could stand in the place where the model is going to be and act out some of the moves yourself. Now you're not going to look silly doing that you're just going to look confident that you know what you want from the model. Now for me obviously working with a playmate experience is there so I just give Kerry the idea and she's off and running and you too if you're working with an experienced model you just give her the idea of what you're going for and then she has her own looks that she's going to give to you but if it is a model that hasn't worked a lot you just might want to help her along a little bit anyway so that's how I put that whole thing together and that's uh, my story and if you like that one you might want to pop over to my blog andrefelixphoto.com and check it out I got lots of interesting stories on there uh, diagrams and other various different bits of information that will help inspire you to go out and create something of your own. Now you can also pop over to my other website andrefelix.com and 
that has got all my commercial work on it and a lot more other things that you might find interesting. So follow me on Instagram. Check out either one of my websites. Now, if you've subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, maybe it's time you subscribed. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Maybe fire off a couple of questions to me. I'm always interested in that. Uh, I'll be only too happy to answer them. All I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.